Okay, let's work through another problem together. On a different planet, a rock is hurled from a volcano with an initial velocity of 146 meters per second. The following table gives the rock's height h in meters at t seconds. So the data in the table gives us two seconds with 285.08 meters, 2.001 seconds with 285.219 meters, 2.01 seconds with 286.471 meters, 2.1 seconds with 298.971 meters, 2.5 seconds with 354.188 meters, and three seconds with 422.43 meters. In part A, we're asked to find the average velocity of the rock over each of the given time intervals, and if necessary, round to two decimal places. So all the time intervals are closed intervals, and the first one is from two to three, the second is from two to 2.5, the third is from two to 2.1, the fourth is from two to 2.01, and the fifth is from two to 2.001. So in this example, we're only going to find the average velocity for one of the time intervals. Let's work with this one. So what does this closed interval tell us? Well, it's an interval of inputs and the inputs are measured in seconds. So this left boundary indicates that T is equal to two seconds. And the right boundary indicates that T is equal to 2.1 seconds. So average velocity is the slope of the secant line passing through the point at t equals two seconds and the point at t equals 2.1 seconds. So we need to start by finding those points. So to find the point at t equals two seconds, we go to the table and we look at the input value two and see the output value is 285.08. Likewise for 2.1, we go to the table and find 2.1 and see that the output is 298.971. So the average velocity is the slope of the secant line, which is the difference in the outputs, 298.971 minus 285.08 divided by the difference in the inputs, which is 2.1 subtract two. And performing the arithmetic on the right-hand side gives us an average velocity of 138.91 meters per second. However, we only need to enter the numerical value of 138.91. Okay, let's take a look at part B of this problem. So in part B, we're asked to estimate the instantaneous velocity of the rock when t equals two seconds. So we start by looking at our time intervals and we notice that the left boundary of each time interval is two. And this is the time where we need to estimate our instantaneous velocity. We also notice that the right endpoints of each time interval are greater than two, but decreasing to get closer and closer to two. So we would say that the right boundaries are approaching two from the right. But in previous problems, we also had intervals such as one, two, and 1.52, and 1.92, and 1.992, et cetera, et cetera where the left boundaries are all less than two, but getting closer and closer to two, in which case we would say that the left boundaries are approaching two from the left. Then we would take the average velocity from the smallest interval when approaching two from the right, and the average velocity from the smallest interval when approaching two from the left, and we would average those two average velocities to estimate the instantaneous velocity. However, in this problem, we don't have boundaries approaching two from the left. We only have boundaries approaching two from the right. 
So how do we handle that? Well, we calculate all the average velocities and if they seem to be following a reasonable pattern, we use the average velocity from the smallest interval to estimate the instantaneous velocity. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching the video.